It's an island known for its history, its attractions, and its people. St. Salvador was once known as Watlings Island and before that, Guanahani to the Arawaks that lived here. It's 12 by 7 miles of natural flora and fauna. Sitting just about 200 miles southeast of Nassau, the island is situated near a shelf that has a deep drop-off into the Atlantic Ocean. And according to Senior Officer for the Ministry of Tourism on the island, Velda Knowles, it's this natural phenomenon that attracts the majority of tourists. We have lots of beautiful water, our beaches, we have, we, we have from land to sea, we have the most beautiful dive sites in the world and that's where we have all of our visiting guests come to the island just to experience that underwater world. Looking to grab a bite while you're here? My favorite is definitely seafood or that crab and rice, that down home cooking. You go, you just ask for the one of the best cooks there is. In fact, all of our cooks are excellent on the island. Me in particular, I love my yellow wing grouper and a taste of conch, scotch conch, conch fritters. We have guava duff as dessert. I mean, you know, potato bread, cassava bread, um, just to name a few. The island is home to about 1,200 residents, each of them willing to give a helping hand. Just ask anyone, ask questions. We're, everybody's willing to assist you to make sure you have a beautiful stay on our island. Now this is just the beginning as we're here all week to cover the best businesses, historical sites, but most of all, the people. Reporting for our news from San Salvador, I'm Joshua Williams.